kids, it's time for my favorite part of the week, Kids Church. I am your host, Polly the Prehistoric Pelican, and with me is my spectacular co-host, Teacher Sarah. It's good to be back in the studio, Polly. Looks like you finally digested all that bread, huh, Polly? Indeed, but that is an embarrassing chapter of my life I never want to revisit. Aw, I guess you just don't want this bagel I brought for you, huh? <laughs> I just can't resist. Oh. <gasps> I thought so. Well, while Polly eats his way to another inevitable stomach ache, let's hop on over to worship. Woohoo! You are teaching me for me. You teach me how to love. You teach me how to share. Jesus, you teach me to be kind. And in all I do, to have a good attitude. You're teaching me now. You're teaching me now. You're teaching me now. Oh. Should I open it? Okay, let's see what it says. Hello, Zoe. Who, who? I left three clues for you. Look for my pictures to find someone who teaches you. Wow, so fun. We have a scavenger hunt. Will you help me find these clubhouse clues? Oh, and I can use this magnifying glass to help us look for clues. When I hold it up like this, it helps me see. Let's start looking for clues. Look, I see Ollie's face on the Bible. That means the Bible is our first clue. Hmm, who do we read about in the Bible? Good answer. Let's look for our next clue. Did you find another clubhouse clue? Yes, there it is. It's on the heart pillow. Hearts remind us of love. So our first clue is a person in the Bible and our second clue is love. Now it's time to find our last clue. I see it. 
It's over on the stump. Let's look inside. <gasps> it's a smiley face balloon. Smiley faces remind me of friends. So, we have a Bible, a heart, and a smiley face. I wonder who these clothes are talking about. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Zoe. Who? Who? Found all of my clues, did you? We sure did, Ollie. We found out that it's someone in the Bible who loves us and wants to be our friend. But who is it? You found my clues about someone who teaches important things to you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. <gasps> Hello, friends. I'm Aisha. Welcome to my cupcake food truck. Today we have some very special cupcakes. Do you want to see? Ta-da! <laughs> I call them my clue cakes. These magnifying glasses help us find clues. Have you been trying to find some clues today? You have? Well, I think our story will help you solve the mystery. If you're ready for the story on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, Three, tell me a story. Today's true story from the Bible begins on a beach. Jesus and his friends, the disciples, had been working very hard. So they went to a beach so they could rest and pray. While they were there, people came from far away to see Jesus. Some people were so excited to see Jesus, they even ran to get there. They ran from this town, and they came from that town. They came from all over. More and more people came to see Jesus. When Jesus saw the people, he loved them and wanted to help them. So Jesus began teaching them. The people were so happy to be with Jesus that they stayed for a long time. They stayed to listen to Jesus teach important things all through the day and into the night. People went to see Jesus and he taught them important things. Jesus teaches you important things too. When we read the Bible, we can learn so many important things from Jesus. Jesus wants to be our friend forever and Jesus teaches us important things. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <laughs> oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who teaches you important things? Jesus teaches me important things. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who teaches you important things? Jesus teaches me important things. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus teaches important things to you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Ooh. Ooh. Wow, our three clues were about Jesus. Jesus loves us, he wants to be our friend forever, and he teaches us important things. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I'm going to set up my clubhouse clues again so my friends can learn that Jesus teaches us important things. I'll see you next time. Bye! What an amazing message! Indeed, I thank God every day for my friends. And I love to dance to show God that I'm grateful. And now, it's time for the big word. The people were amazed at his teaching. Matthew 7, dot dot 2, 8. Once again, the people were amazed at his teaching. Matthew 7, dot, dot, 2, 8. And now, it's time for the one and only, Hey, hey Mr. Phil! Oh, 
Oh, hey, boys and girls, good morning. It's Mr. Phil here. I was just cleaning up and vacuuming after Christmas. The babies, ah, they left a little bit of a mess after Christmas, playing with their toys and everything. So we're just kind of cleaning up. In fact, I'm gonna go check and see what the babies are doing right now, because I haven't heard from them all morning. Oh, it's Reginald. <laughs> Reginald here is playing with the Legos. That's really cool, Reginald. You still having fun? Yeah, What? what's that? Oh, be quiet, because Green Gorilla fell asleep. Oh, okay, yeah, let's not wake him up, okay? How about if you come with me and we can do our song this morning while Green Gorilla sleeps, okay? Is that all right? Okay, all right, good job, Reginald. Why are you so wide awake this morning, Reginald? You had a coffee. Okay, Reginald, you can't be drinking coffee. The coffee is for the adults, all right? That's for the adults. It's not for kids, all right, or babies. So it's milk, orange juice, or water for you, okay? Okay? Yeah, okay, I'm not being a grouch, okay? I'm just telling you, don't drink coffee. But anyway, so, hey, what? Oh, it looks like the rest of the babies are asleep too. They all fell asleep. Oh, Reginald, you're the only one because you had coffee, okay? Well, hey, how about if we sing a song this morning about hope? Because you know, Christmas was all about hope. Jesus, as a baby, he represented the hope of all mankind, okay? When he was gonna grow older, which he did, he became our savior. So that's why Christmas is all about hope. So how about if we do a song about hope, okay? I'm gonna put you right here, Reginald, okay? So you can sing with me. And Okay, I'll try not to sing too loud to wake up the other babies because you wanna play with their toys. Okay, Reginald, all right, just, just calm down, relax a little bit, okay? And let's do this song. It's called Anchor. And an anchor is what is on a ship that holds it in place. The same way hope can hold us in place when the waters get stormy and it gets rough. Our hope is like an anchor. So how about if we sing this song together, okay? Here we go. I have this hope As an anchor for my soul Every storm I will hold to you with endless love. All my fear is swept away in everything. I will hold. of the cross you gave everything to save the world you love and this hope is an anchor for my soul our God will stand unshakable
promise of the cross You gave everything to save the world you love And this hope is an anchor for my soul Our God will stand unshakable Yes, God, our hope is unshakable that we receive from you just like an anchor. So thank you so much for this day. I pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So you see, Re Reginald, 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 he fell asleep. Okay, well, have a great rest of your day. Have a happy new year. And I'll see you next year, okay? All right. Don't forget to take a nap today. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. See you. Oh, he's sleeping. Bye. Okay, kids. It's time to pray. Let's bow our heads. Dear God, thank you for always keeping your promises. Help us to hope for your will to be done in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I think I need to go back to bed. I'm too full again. Oh, Polly. All right. Bye.